Brothers and sisters, welcome to the May Thanksgiving Testimonies and Prayer Meeting. We're going to start by reading from Psalm, Psalm 150, Psalm 150. Please, I would like a fast reader to read for us Psalm 150. There are six stanzas as we say about Psalms. Okay, please open the line and read. Psalm 150. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the timber and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that had breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Let him that have breath praise the Lord. Can we all just say that together? Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Can we all say praise the Lord? Yes, so it is time for us to praise the Lord. Are you ready to praise the Lord? As that psalm says, so we want to take our prayer of thanksgiving to just praise God. Let us pray. Let every one of us thank God for your life individually and for your family. That's our first prayer point. So let's thank God for our lives individually and our families. Just take a look at all what the Lord has done. The Lord has done great things for you. The Lord has done great things for me. The Lord has done great things for us. Thank God, first of all, for keeping you alive, keeping your family. Just go ahead and give God thanks. Give God thanks. Thanking God for individual, our individual lives and family. Let's go ahead and give him thanks. Just as the psalmist said, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. For his mighty acts in your life, in my life, in your family. Lord, we thank you. I thank you for my life. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, on behalf of my wife, on behalf of my children. Lord God Almighty, I thank you. I thank you for life that you have given me. I thank you, Lord God Almighty, for health. I thank you for strength. Almighty God, I thank you for the salvation of my soul. I thank you, Lord, for forgiving me all my sins, all my iniquities, my transgressions, my errors, my mistakes, my trespasses. I thank you, God Almighty, for the mercy you have shown me. I thank you, Lord, for my family, the mercy you have shown me, and my family, it is only by your mercy that I have lived to see today. We have lived to see today. You are the one who has kept us to see today. We say our Father, to you be all glory. To you be all honor. To you be all praise. Thank you, Jesus, our Lord, our King, our Master. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We just thank you, Lord, for joy, for peace. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for being our God. We thank you for reconciling and restoring us to yourself. Lord God, we thank you. Every one of us connected here, we thank you, Lord. To you, our God, be all glory. In Jesus' name, we have given thanks. We are going to thank God again on that individual basis. We are going to thank God that 
for all our prayers that he has been answering. Oh yes, God has been answering our prayers. And we're going to thank God also for his word that he has been teaching us. Let's thank God specifically for this platform, for what God has been doing upon this platform. Go ahead and give God thanks. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you, Lord, God Almighty, for your word that you have been speaking to us, for what you have been teaching us, for the group, spiritual group that you have granted us. We thank you for all the blessings. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings of the day, the blessings of the night. We thank you for the blessings of the season that you have poured upon us. Father, we thank you, Lord God Almighty, for prayers, our prayers that you have answered in diverse ways. We thank you, our God. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your will and your purpose for our lives, individually and collectively. Thank you for all, Lord, that you have made for us and you have made to happen in our lives. To you, our God and our King, be all glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, brothers and sisters, let's thank God for his church and nations. Thank God for his church and nations. Oh, if it were not for God, if it were not for God, you don't know where we would have been. See all that is happening in the world. If it were not for God. So let's thank God for the church, his church, the body of Christ and the nations. Thank God for his faithfulness. Jesus Christ said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God has been faithful to his church. Despite all that has happened, God has kept his church. Let's thank him for his faithfulness to his church and the nations. The world whom he has created, he has kept the world. Despite all that men are doing, God has kept the world. Let's thank God. Father God, we thank you on behalf of the church, the body of Christ. On behalf of all your children, your believers, whom you have drawn unto yourself. Father, we thank you for keeping your church. And we thank you for continually adding to your church. Despite all the attacks of the enemy all over the world, despite all the arrows of the wicked, you have continued to save souls. Lord, we thank you. We thank you even for the souls you have saved upon this platform. We thank you, Lord, for all your elect all over the world that you are drawing onto yourself daily, Every moment, every hour, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Almighty God, for the nations of the earth that you have kept, you have sustained. If it were not for you, Lord, the nations of the earth would have been wiped out, wiped off by the acts of men, the wickedness of men. But Lord, we thank you for your mercy that has prevailed. To you, our God, be all glory. To you, be all honor. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Beloved, let us now thank God for this new month. Thank God for the new month that the Almighty God has brought us into the new month. Thank God for January. Go ahead and thank God. Thank God for January, how God has seen us through January and all his blessings that he's, he gave to us in January. Thank God for February and the blessings thereof. Thank God for March and the blessings thereof. Thank God for April and the blessings and the victory. Therefore, thereof, thank God now who has brought us into me. Go ahead and give God thanks. Father God, we thank you for this new month of May. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the year 2022. We thank you for how far you have brought us. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for the victory and blessings in January, for the victory and blessings in uh, February for the victory and blessings, in March for the victories and blessings, in April. Lord, we thank you for bring, bringing us into the month of May. To you, our God, be all glory, all praise, all power, all blessings, all honor, all wisdom, all majesty. Oh God, we lack words to ascribe greatness to you, for you are indeed great. You are highly exalted. We praise you. We exalt you. We magnify you. We say all praise be to you. 
in this month of May. All honor, all thanks be to you, our God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Psalm 150 verse 6 says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Everybody, let's shout. Praise the Lord. Go ahead, open your line and just shout praise the Lord. Everyone, let's go in chorus. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So right now, we're going to go into the personal testimonies. So open the line and now give your own personal testimony, your personal appreciation to God. You want to tell him the good things he has done in your life and your family in, and in your, in your world. You want to sing to him. You just want to shout to him, whatever you want to do to appreciate God. Please go ahead, open your line now and do that. After that, we will go into prayer for the new month, the theme, a short exhortation of the new month, and then we will pray and we'll take our discussion. Okay, open the line and go quickly. Who wants to go first? Share your testimony. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sister Comfort. Please go ahead. <laughs> Good day and welcome to my brothers and sisters. I think I will start, I have been singing the whole day. <laughs> so one of the songs I sang was, all things praise you, Lord, Lord most high, high, heaven, earth, and, and sea, and sky, and sky. all, all where for your glory, glory. that your greatness does display. Should all oh, worship bring to you. So we praise, praise you, Lord, you. Amen. 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 I don't know if you have said it. Ascribe to God. Ascribe to Jehovah. Glory. Worship. We can't ascribe enough. He has done so much. We cannot count them all. The fact that he has kept us till 1st of May in 2022, despite the coaster, uh, is it roller coaster world? Yes. We have every reason to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, our Father for you have done so much for us. The, the air that we breathe, if we were to quantify it, we wouldn't have enough to pay. The life for today, keeping all my family members till today. And we have every reason to say God has been faithful to us. We are all fine, we are all in good health, remaining focusing, and believing that our tomorrow is going to be better. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Next person. Next person. Yes. Brother Sonny, please go ahead. Yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. I actually I want to thank God for. for all he has done for me as a person. Um, today is the first day of the new month, the month of May. And we've just, uh, we've just ended the first quarter of the year. So it has been the Lord's doing. So I thank him for life. And I thank him especially for my, um, my children at the center. Throughout the program, we are almost bringing the program to an end by next week. But in all of this period from January to today, we never had any report of uh, accident. None of them is missing. Amen. And uh, God's favor is upon all of them. So I thank God for the children in particular. I thank God for this platform, for what God has used this uh, platform to do in the life of the children and uh, in my own personal life. 
So I thank God for the gift of life. My family members have not uh, received uh, any bad reports from home. My friends, my neighbors. So I really have to thank God for all of us in the platform that despite everything, God has been faithful to all of us. And I say that his name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And thank you, Sonny. You talked about the children. Specifically, yesterday, some of them were sharing testimony of uh, the engagement. And uh, I was struggling to hear. Do you just want to mention one? Yes. What they actually said was that is that uh, the platform has been of uh, great use to them. That has actually affected their they are learning uh, uh, skills and that their spiritual life too have been touched uh, based on what you've been teaching them and uh, other things that you've been saying, like the issue of Daniel, that they, they actually focus on Daniel because you drew the attention to the fact that Daniel was a disciplined person. And that's why he could actually do what he did. And you also talk about Joseph, that they say they applied exactly those rules and it has been helping them. And they were so grateful for that. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, uh, Sonny. I think that's uh, my own big testimony. So um, over 100 students, Sonny gathered them. And every Saturday, as an extension of uh, this platform, uh, I have one hour, 45 minutes to one hour, to speak to them uh, about Jesus and the excellent uh, spirit of God that is available to young people to make progress uh, without following the ways of the world. Like you've just had, using Daniel and Joseph as an example and Jesus Christ, uh, his teaching and his uh, principles of life. And God has been helping them, helping us. Uh, that's a great testimony that uh, God has also done for this platform as a way of um, outreach, and we will continue to do more. So that's part of my own testimony. Since I'm saying this, maybe I should just share my own testimony as well. I thank God for divine health. Um, the month of uh, the, the new creation teaching has been very impactful in my life and, and, and all glory be to God. Um, also, I thank God that uh, as a family, God has really helped us. I want to leave this one for my wife to do that Thanksgiving. And uh, God has really helped us as a family. Yeah, so I give God thanks. Oh, enjoy herself, actually. Yeah, so, and I thank you. Thank God for every one of us. I thank God for the, 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 the word that he continually teaches us here, the impact and his insight and guidance. To him be all glory. And the manifestation of his spirit. So, next, Joy, go ahead, please. Good morning, everyone. I want to thank God for helping me to complete my NYSC successfully and safely. Thanks be to God. So I and my wife, we joined to thank God for that. I wanted Joy to mention it by herself first. Yeah, it's uh, going through that for a whole year successfully. The Almighty God has done it for her, done it for us. To God be the glory. So we want to thank God for all these testimonies that we are all healthy in this year, that God has kept us, God has provided for us. He is worthy indeed. So I will ask Sister Comfort to round off this testimony and Thanksgiving session for us. Please go ahead, raise your voice and bring all this appreciation and thanks that we have given to God and round off the testimony and thanksgiving session. Go Thank ahead. You. Thank you. Jehovah, our kind, our merciful Father, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, we say thank you so much, our God. 
Thank you. For being our God. Yes. For being our Father. Yes. For doing all the wonderful things for your children Thank without you. caring. Father, you don't even mind who we are. Dust, weak. But Father, because you have made us strong by the blood of your son, Jesus Christ. That is why you have given us all the testimony that we have given to you today. Father, I say thank you. Let glory, let honor, praise, worship, adoration, majesty, be to you, our Father, and to your Son, Jesus Christ. Our Father, in every way, in every moment of our life, we have seen your light shining. Yes. That is why, God, with a heart full of joy, mm -hmm. we say thank you, God. We know you, you will continue to bring our joy to the full. Yes. Because whatever you have started, you will always do it to completion. Amen. And you have always made provision for us to be able to stand, to accomplish what you want us to accomplish. Father, that is why we ask your light to continue shining so that we may see the obstacle we may see the craftiness of the wicked ones. Anytime they want to sneak into our hearts, in our mind, in our thought, Father, your light will shine and drive them away because you are a God of abundance. Yes, Thank Lord. you, Father. Thank you. Let Lord. our thanks, let our worship and our testimony bring glory and honor to you and you, our Father Almighty, in the name of us, your dear Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. God bless you.